Hey guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. We are on part 50. It is a big day, big episode. It might even be a little bit long. We've got her upgrading our house one more time. I've already done the things for the morning. There are two items. I need three apples and one pomegranate to take to the community center. This is pretty exciting. This should do it. Let's see how it goes. Three apples. Hell yes. What is our prize? Uh, heater. I guess we'll put that on the cows and stuff. And one pomegranate. Yay! What are we gonna get? Gold bars. Excellent. I can accept that. Last bundle, farewell potato soup. Yay! It's completely done. Where is our star? Is is there a little critter gonna come and fill it in for us? It looks so nice. I wonder if people will come around. Maybe. Hmm. Can we read any of these bulletins? Don't think so. Well, I'm a little disappointed. The little thingy didn't come and fill in my star. Hmm. Okay, well. So, in addition to that, we have worked up our relationships, as you can see. And I did a little Twitter poll. Who should we marry? Penny, Shane, or Harvey? Shockingly enough, Penny didn't get any votes. And as you'll know, if you've been watching, she's been my leading lady this whole time. I just don't know why anybody wouldn't choose her, but I mean, I guess not. Whatever. And then for a while, Shane was in the lead, but at the very last minute, it pulled to 50-50 between Shane and Harvey. So then that leaves me by myself to choose. And I didn't know what I was going to do. I was still leaning towards Shane for a little while. Because he makes so much effort with me. But he's just got a lot of problems. And then Harvey, he took me on the balloon ride. Without, or I mean, even though he's afraid of heights. And I was like, you know, I feel like that was the true test. So we've got ourselves a mermaid pendant. And I want to give it to him. But we've got to get him away from this fellow because... I don't need the wrong one accidentally getting it. Can you please get out of the way? Do you need to like have some privacy for a minute to do his exam? I just need you to get away from him. Huh, I can read that sign. Hey, how you doing girl? Let me get out the way. There, I can observe from here. We'll just wait. What kind of doctor's office doesn't close the door while they do the exam? How rude. I don't know how this is going to go. I really hope just giving it to him is all that's required. Hurry up, man. You're taking way too long at this. We don't have very many of these left either. We don't have an apricot growing yet, so we can't do that. You know, we did get an iridium bar once, but it was while we were in Skull Cave, and naturally we died, so we lost that. I just don't know how anybody gets anywhere with that cave. I die almost right away. I made it to level 7, but it was pretty hairy, and of course I did still end up dying. Sir, hurry the hell up. This is ridiculous. 
So, you know, I'm going to have to work on that. My God. Finally, he's done pointing that thing at him. It's been like an hour. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Technically, the clinic is even closed. If I wasn't already inside, I wouldn't have been able to get in. Hey, boo. Turns out you're the one. Ooh, I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have a ceremony in three days, okay? Three days? Damn, that's a long time. I guess okay. I'll be relieved after I settle on the farm. <gasps> oh, whenever I go out to him, I give a little smudgy hair hug. How sweet. Okay, well, that's really all I needed to do for now. Let's go and put this heater in with the animals. Oh, I got a... Oh, you've probably seen it. This pan. I've only found one sparkly thing in the water this whole time. Pretty disappointed by that. Corn juice. Sounds disgusting. Let's see. Sell, 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 sell. I've been holding on to this for a long time, and I want to give it to... RV at some point. Here, put those in there. Well, close enough. And then let's go put these down here real quick. How oh, convenient. Let me grab that while I'm here. Where would be a good spot to put a heater in here? Maybe over here? Yeah, probably. You know, I think that the house upgrade is also supposed to take three days. It seems a little long, but it's fine. Oh, no, I wanted to put that in here. Perfect. Alright, well, that's all I needed to do today, so let's finish her off. tomorrow. It better not rain the day after. I've got a wedding. Alright. Well, at least that means I don't need to water plants. Dear Potato Soup, everyone around town's been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago on the Community Center Bulletin. Oh yeah? Because I've been giving it to them directly. And the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. Mayor Lewis. Oh, you guys are so welcome. Figured I'd give you this recipe for laying, had it laying around. Try not to burn it, George. Fried eel. Oh, yeah, because I want some fried eel. Oh, he gave me a recipe for eggplant parm. Yum. Dang, am I getting something for everybody? I sure am. Blueberry tart. Pumpkin soup, stuffing, escargot, and some animal hay. I'm going to put it over here with the other one that I put in here. In case the silos somehow get empty during winter, this time I don't want to be caught with my pants down, as they say.
All right, well, those are all my main daily duties. Let's go ahead and scoop this up. We used all of our hardwood stores that we had on the house upgrade. So let's go down here to the secret forest and get some more. We're going to have to work long and hard to get all that stored back up. This lady never has anything good. Hey, lady. I mean, she does, but it's, you know, unnecessary and overpriced. It's too bad I can't marry all three of my love interests. Maybe I can just have some affairs or something. Probably not. I'm not even that type of bro, but, like... I feel so bad for Penny, because she wanted to get out of the trailer. And, like, Shane... He was so cool. Like, he was always friendly and doing nice things. But, alas, he had his fair share of issues. Even though I was really trying to get one of those blue chickens. Like, if anybody knows how to do that, let me know. I'd like to have a blue chicken. There's an abnormal amount of slimes down here today. Usually it's not so many. That's essentially what I do most days, because there really just isn't much to do right now, except for when I do have something going on. What was that? Um, an achievement. How nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip forward to the wedding day. Otherwise, it's just going to be a watch of me doing maintenance around the farm. When Potato Soup first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if she'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Potato Soup is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. It's my great honor on this day, 7 of fall, to unite Potato Soup and Harvey in the bonds of marriage. How beautiful! Well, let's get right to it. Potato Soup, Harvey... As mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you wife and husband. You may kiss. Oh, look at my other boo things in the crowd. Dang, Barney's happy as hell. <laughs> Life is going to be different from now on. But the future looks bright. Yay! My house looks different. How neat. I did hear that he would have a little crop out here. Hey, cat. I'll do my duties in a minute. I just want to look around. There's my husband. Hey, husband. Made a nutritious breakfast. Thank you. So let me give you all the grand tour. Here's our bedroom. It's bigger. Oh, here's Harvey's little tinkering nook. He likes that sort of stuff, I've noticed. Who put the TV in front of the stairs? I wonder if I can move it. I can. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's put that over here. Can we? If I get out the way. There we go. Yeah, put that next to the fireplace. And I don't know what this room is. 
And then here's the potential children's room. I guess we can have two. Unless there's more house upgrades, I really wouldn't know. Oh, such a love. Where's my bomb? Oh, it got moved for some reason. Alright, let's go and put our extra food that he so kindly gave us in here. And these batteries. And these fruits. I just and 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 and. But like for real, I do want to save those things. Alright, now I'll do my morning things and I'll get back with you. Alright, we did that, and I just remembered I did want to give him this rabbit's foot I've been carrying around. This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Well, that's great, dear. Let's see if we can make us some more of these medium-sized bombs. Iron ore and coal. These giant ones take a lot. Solar essence, void essence, and gold. How much gold do I even have? Oh, I have a lot. Let's make some. These could be potentially dangerous. Okay, let's put these things back and get some iron. Yes, I will make some of these too. That's probably good. All right, let's organize our things. All right, put our food here, this here, this here. All right. Let's say we go on a little journey. Yes, take me to the desert. I want to go to Skull Cave and really try hard not to die. I'm going to be very upset if I die and lose a bunch of stuff. Because I came pretty well equipped. Ow! And like... Does anybody know what this is? Because... I think it has something to do with that tomb I read about. And it said holding something in the middle of it. Of three pillars. Something that's as valuable as the sky. I don't know. Alright. We're going in. 
fingers crossed we don't really miss. I don't know how I'm supposed to kill any of that. Does anybody... Excuse me. Can you get off me? And there I went. Dang. See, I was going to feed him, but I couldn't get away. I probably lost all of my food items. Better not have lost my bombs I just made. I'm going to be really upset. Someone found you unconscious, battered, had to perform emergency surgery. Are you going to charge me? Because we're married and that would be really fucked up. Oh yeah, you did. I'm pretty upset by that. That is not how you treat a wife. Oh man. Yeah, they did. They took my prepared foods. At least they didn't take my weapons. I once lost some of those. How am I supposed to get home if I don't have anything to eat? Can I eat that? I cannot. Oh my god. I can't. Well, I can eat one of these eggs. Yes. That'll get me there. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, hell yeah. Everybody's celebrating the community center. We need to go up there and see how everybody is enjoying it. Not right now, obviously, because, well, we could just eat another egg. It's so nice. Oh, and my other star finally turned up. That's really great. Willie over here lurking by the fish tank. Could have helped me with it, Willie. I wonder who's in the office. Is that like the mayor's office? That doesn't look like the mayor's clothes. And the mayor's right there. It actually looked a little bit like Demetrius. I'm not sure how you did it, Potato Soup, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in Pelican Town is pleased. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Oh, thank you. I'm flattered. Who's grumbling? Morris. Seals have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? That ain't got nothing to do with me, bro. Whoa! All my customers here? Well, I mean, this is a community center. You're a store. They're not supposed to hang out there. And it was always empty anyway. This isn't good. How does it feel? That's petty. Hmm. Do we want to be reasonable or settle it the old fashioned way? Let's settle it the old fashioned way. Punch him in the face. This means nothing. I'll just run 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me begging for forgiveness. You'll see when you do that, bud. No, not this time, Morris. I think it's time we settled this once and for all. Punch him! Get him, Pierre! Oh, and how do you propose we do that? Get him! Hell yeah! Go, go! Doop, doop! Give him a two-piece dart! Ha! Primitive! Yeah, it is, and we're gonna primitive whoop your ass. If you're too scared to fight me, then bring one of your co-workers or all JoJo employees. Such cowards! Insult me all you like, but don't you dare slander the good name of Jojo. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, get him, it's a fight now. Pierre! Ha ha, good stuff. I knew George would be into it. Block, beat his ass, Pierre. You're even weaker than your fresh produce selection. <gasps> How dare you. Get him. And the way you throw punches is just like Jojo. Quantity over quality. Ha <laughs> ha. So funny. Get him. I'm with George. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doof, doof. Whoa, that was the hell of a punch, wasn't it? Now who's going to fix the hole in the roof? Not me. Yeah, put your sunglasses on. 
If I knew how to edit that well, I would slide that thing in there with that music. But I'm not in that league. Morris and his Joja Mark cronies were never heard from again. See, that's a little extreme. Like, how does a, a whole store just run out of town? Well, what's over there now? <laughs> Why am I holding an egg? Because that's what I do. Let's get over to the house. Uh, yeah, we'll go home and have us a little sleep. And then we'll go see what's up with Joja Mark. How come my weather thing says it's heart weather? <laughs> I'm not sure how to interpret that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put these things in the sail bin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does this need to go outside or inside? Probably better put it inside because it's pretty special. Hey, honey. I have this trophy to put. I guess right here is probably good. Alright. Let's end the day. It was a rough one and we died in caves and... My own husband had the audacity to charge me a thousand gold. I'm not sure that's how healthcare works. <laughs> Rather John married Stardew. Hey boo. Winter's just around the corner. Boy, that's a long way from now. Why are you lying? Let me check the weather. I forgot it's over here. Beautiful and sunny to marble. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, yes. Ooh. Hello. What's happening? Puff high potato soup. Pam. Ooh, it was quite a workout walking all the way up here. Was it? <laughs> I run all over town. Anyway, I came to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. Well, hell yes. You don't have to, but if you decide to come, could you please bring a large mouth bass with you? Sure the fuck can. Jody, I must remember. Come to Jody's. That's right. One of those big slimy fish in the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. Okay, well, it'll be at our house at 7 tonight. Don't forget large mouth bass. We will most certainly do that. Pierre's General Store is now open seven days a week. Great, because you were only closed like one of those days. All right, this is a largemouth bass. So is that one. Do I have a lower quality one I can? Yes, I do. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and do our daily things. You guys know the drill and then we'll go check out Jojo Mart and then probably kill some time somehow and then go on down to our little Din Din with Jody and the fam and hopefully my husband Harvey will be interested in joining
correct things while we're out and about, naturally. Oh damn, it's looking crummy. We can't get in there. Well, if Jojo Mart's out of business, then where does Shane work? Hey guys. I guess let's Let's stop and get these berries, obviously, but, like, let's go and pop in Pierre's and see if it looks any different. Not that Shane's probably working there, but, you know. Uh, no, it looks the same. Interesting. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's at the house. We'll see what he's up to nowadays. He probably won't tell us, though. Yeah, we still have a little time on Jody. Do, 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 do. Hmm, he's not in here. Well, crap. Oh, there he went. Hey, man. What are you working at now? Scrutinizing you like some disgusting insect. Sir, didn't we work on this? <laughs> they still have my flowers, but they're called single. Oh. Looks like everybody's opened up to get to 10 hearts now, too. Hey, girl. Hey. How you doing? Let's slide on down here. She's not in. Well, heck. Let me just actually make sure this is... Yeah, that's where she lives. Well, crap. Um, I guess we'll go down to the beach. Maybe there's some shells that need collecting. Well, that was pretty quick and uneventful. I guess I could give you guys a sneak peek down in here in the sewers. I don't think I've been down here on camera. I got to come down here for giving enough things to the library. This guy, supposedly, yeah, he sells things, but, like, not anything I need. I do need that, though. I think we're supposed to collect up a certain amount of these. 20000 is a bit steep, but how else would I get it, you know? This is cool. Hold the Separatist guy and return home at will. Hmm. I wonder if it works all the times. It's two million. That's crazy. I wonder if that's the thing that you need in that, whatchamacallit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this while I'm down here though. Maybe it'll give me a little bit longer of a lifespan and then I can have more chance to fight them things. Liquid meals, maximum energy level increased. No, it has not. That is a ball faced lie. It's the same length it was before. And then over here, it just takes us to an exit at the bottom of the forest. We don't want to go all the way down there. Because we would have to walk back, actually. Ooh, what's this? 
a shadow person above ground. This is outrageous. Your people are responsible for the death of my entire family. If your dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we'd never have had to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't gonna cut it. Oh no, I think we're about to have a beef. Oh god, look at him go. And then here comes my nosy ass. <laughs> oh my god, good fight. We can all be friends here. Let me at him, he's despicable. Come and get it, shrimpy. Uh oh. Wizard! Uh oh. He lit him on fire. Silence, both of you! The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must make peace for the sake of humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. Very well, I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. I mean, I don't know what you were doing down here anyway. You live in a cave. I'm truly sorry about the past, dwarf. I have no personal gripe with you. Very good, I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. Ha, <laughs> that'll do. Fantastic and all. I sure wish he would give me the way to unlock that cave up by the train station. I don't know how to get it off of him. I just know it's something that you get from a wizard. Well, that was that. I guess we'll just wait here until 7. Alright, 7 o'clock. Let's go to our dinner party. Hi, potato soup. Please come in. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you came, potato soup. And you brought the fish. Wonderful. Yes, I did. Sam, could you come in here and help clean this fish? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we'll just throw it on the floor. Wow, it looks wonderful. It smells so fresh. Thanks so much for doing this. No problem. I've had it in an unrefrigerated bin out in front of my house for a few years. Kent caught a fish too, but he eats about a whole fish to himself. I mean, don't we all? Heh <laughs> Mmm, that crispy bass was delicious. The breading was to die for. I almost feel like part of the family now. What are we doing over here? Are they having a rendezvous? I know they like to. Marnie, we can't. If word got out... It could undermine my position and authority in the town. Why, aren't you both single? You understand, don't you? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things in life, you know. But yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Ah! That nosy potato soup always catching us up to scandalizing activities. Gah! Oh, look at her face. I love it. Potato soup, you overheard everything, didn't you? Yes, but I'll keep it a secret. Thank you, potato soup. I won't forget this. It's not my business to be telling anyway. Why were you hiding there anyway? Because I'm a creeper. Ah! It was peeping Tommy. Don't ask me about it. 
Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, I suppose we should take this way home, huh? I think so too. Dang, that dinner only took 10 minutes. There we go. Oh, more berries. Can I keep getting distracted if y'all keep showing me things to collect? talking about stuff everywhere. Yep, here's a little more. As I suspected. Alright. Let's get all this stuff in the bin for overnight delivery. Husband, what are you doing in the bedroom? had a nice day. It's refreshing to spend the time alone now and then. Did you have a good day? Yeah, I went to dinner with the neighbors. How come you didn't come? I wonder how we make them have a baby. Maybe they'll just do it on their own. I don't know. Go to sleep. Alright, you guys. I'm going to end this here. While this may be the end of the series, it is not the end of the game. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be making weekly videos about it anymore. We're at a point where the action is going to be pretty few and far between, as you've seen. So I may or may not make update videos from time to time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the series. I hope you We'll play the game yourself. I really enjoy it. It is great. I would recommend it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So, um, feel free to check out my other series. And I have something pretty cool coming up that I think you're going to like if you've liked this one. So, I'll see you when I see ya. Bye-bye.